Hello viewers. Today's video is going to be on the wall phone in the shop and we're going to be changing it to a different telephone. And the reason why this is video worthy is because mounting the new telephone is going to be kind of interesting because I don't have a wall mount bracket for it. So the telephone The CXAI something or other. Oh, let's see. CXAI. Oh, no, no, no. CEZAI 2998. Loud and clear. And um, this telephone that's here right now is a nice telephone, but it doesn't ring correctly. And um, I've been told that the audio isn't very good on it either uh, on the transmit end. So. From that, and then there was the fact that I want a speakerphone here, um, I'm going to change it out. Now, the, the challenge here with the loud and clear is, and this telephone is kind of gross because I have to refurbish it still, but I want to make sure I can mount it before I spend all the time refurbishing it. Um, why is this wet? What in the world, bro? Okay, well anyways. The challenge here is that we only have this screw hole to work with and it has to hang it like an angle so it would kind of be like this if this was the wall. So um, the first thing I want to do here is take off this other telephone. I realize the lighting isn't really the greatest here. Um, so I'm going to unplug this. I've got to remember how this comes off. I don't really recall. It's not a standard mount, that's all I know. Uh, let me see if I can figure this out. Now it's off. I wish I hadn't paused the video because I was kind of a freak shit when it finally came. But, anyways, um, this is what it was. It had like a, one screw there and then one screw up at the top. Kind of strange. But, anyways, so that's off. Now we're going to look into hanging the new telephone. So, just uh, to get a perspective on this, I'm going to hook this on the wall here like this. And you'll be able to see the distance that we have to work with. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by getting a piece of wood, or maybe just a whole bunch of shims, and attempting to create that amount of space um, so it, it has something to rest to, to rest on at the base of the phone, because otherwise I think what's going to happen is this will put too much pressure on that little hook, and this may or may not break. So, um... I definitely got to get some some sort of support. Oh, oh. Jeez, or that'll happen. Um, what a disaster! Now we have an issue with the tripod. Okay, we're back. Um, okay, so I'm gonna grab. Actually, the first thing I want to do is I'm gonna undo both of these screws and move this screw over to there because I want the phone to hang centered on the wall. Okay, it looks like this is what we're going to do. Um, I just took two of these things and I stuffed them under here. And this is really good. It's perfectly uh, sturdy and um, this should work. So these are like, oh, these, these are always miscellaneous packing materials from something. And these are one of those things that people are like, man, why did you save that? It's because I use it. So I'm going to have to put these back under here. I'm going to mark on the wall where they sit. And I'm going to figure out how to secure these to the wall such that the phone could be taken on and off without having to finagle with these every time. 
Okay, so it turns out that it's not completely symmetrical for some reason, and they kind of have to sit like this. So what I'm going to do is I'll probably drill a hole, uh, or maybe two holes, in like the top here, and just put screws in there to keep it on the wall, and that should work. Okay, so that's in place. Now if this works, this will have solved half of the problem here. There's still uh, another issue, which I don't think I've underscored yet. Maybe this is a good time to underscore. So the uh, handset hook is MIA, just like the bracket is. So I'm going to have to make one, but we'll get to that in a minute. So now I'm going to try this out. It's not good. So it looks like we're going to need to add. Oh, I see what the problem is here. We're going to have to add some shims on the other side because it looks like the sides have kind of bowed in a little bit because there's not enough um, support here. So I'm going to undo this a little bit and I'm going to grab a shim out of my uh, box of scrap wood, which uh, another thing people say, eh, throw that out. I don't think so. Whoops. Uh, let's see here. It's something very small. Try this. Well, I actually got to cut it in half because the way this is. Alright, let's try that. Nope, we still have the problem on the other side here. Um, let's see, maybe i just move this one in more and attempt to compensate for that problem. Tighten this a little bit. This side is definitely good now. Well, is it? I think that actually has to go a little bit tighter.
Hmm. We have to show the top as well, like up here even. I just moved the screw up a little bit, the top screw, and the reason being is because I think the angle was actually too great because the the um, the hook on the phone here was not actually flat against the wall. So let's try this now. That's a new angle. Well, that's just too loose. It might actually be a little bit too high now. Alright, so this is going to be the final way to mount it. What I ended up doing was I had to move this top screw down. Well, actually, I moved up about an inch and a half and moved down about a half inch. So it's about an inch up from where I originally thought it would be. And, um,. Seriously? I was able to get this on every time before I turned the video on. Okay. Um, this was okay, but it's a little bit loose still. So I took this, maybe this is a third of an inch shim, and I just put this under here. And that kind of just makes it completely sturdy and it's not shaking or wobbly or anything. And you can see that, um, let me go take this off of here, you can see that the angle for the, maybe you can't see it, Let's see, there you go, you can see that the angle for the wall mount is right about exactly the way it should be. So, um, although this is not perfect, I think this is by far, oops, I think this is by far uh, the best option. So now the second thing I have to do to make this work is take a look at this switch hook. Now I have a spare one here uh, from a parts phone and this is the one I'm going to uh, probably use but I have to do some modifications to it. So I want to see if I can make this fit and then I'll come back on the video and show you how I did it. Here's the switch hook, and the way it sits in the telephone is like this. And on the right side of the telephone, there's a little bar that uh, slips inside of here. And that bar was a little bit too big to fit in here um, and get past the gap. You can see uh, the gap is pretty small on the left side. This was symmetrical when I began. Um, so I took a, a drill bit, and I just kind of shaved off a little bit of that bottom part there so now you can see the right hand side is uh, wider now and so this should fit into the telephone without a problem okay here we go let's try it out <clears throat> I haven't had enough to drink today I don't know what it went to I must lift it upstairs well this is not quite fitting in there here we go I really encourage it to go. Um, let's see if this is all the way there. No, it's not quite all the way in. But it may just be good enough. Yeah, I think that'll work. It's not perfect, but um, not really going for perfection here. We're just going for functionality. So, yeah, there you have it. I think that's going to be it. That uh, definitely seems to work fine. All the buttons, uh, you know, you can press them and it doesn't shake or wobble that much. And this uh, works perfectly fine. i got to move some of these wires. i move the speaker up a bit, but um, that is fine. 
so there you have it that's the new wall phone here in the shop thank you for watching comment subscribe and out